This is a Channel 7 editorial with Vice President and General Manager Mike Murray. Last week, the Land Bank celebrated its 10,000th sale of a vacant lot. That's progress and a never say quit attitude. Given all of the remaining lots in Michigan's largest city, it would be tempting to throw up your hands and walk away from the problem. Thankfully, the city hasn't chosen that path. A complete Detroit turnaround hinges on revitalizing as many city neighborhoods as possible. And nothing is more basic than responsible home ownership. This is my first home that I've owned, so I'm excited about that. I am so ecstatic. You know, I'm here to collect my deed today after labors of hard work. Early on, the land bank received fair criticism for not pushing tax foreclosure fast enough. It has also had its fair share of non-flattering news stories about its program to demolish blighted homes. Anytime you oversee 95,000 parcels, there are bound to be cracks in the system. But Detroit has also learned a lot from demolishing efforts in Flint. The land bank has also sold nearly 2,000 properties and auctioned off about 1,800. Most encouraging is the current leadership of Sakia Thompson. She's been the guiding light for the land bank for the past year. Thompson is a native Detroiter who gained experience in this area by working in Atlanta and Philadelphia. The agency's side-by-side -side lots, own it now, and buyback programs are documenting significant successes in their own right. We encourage the Detroit Land Bank program to keep pushing forward in a sensitive, responsible, and determined way. Over time, the city land bank will see a noticeable difference in local neighborhoods that will benefit the entire region. I'm Mike Murray. We welcome your response to this editorial.